Coming right up, a special edition of Straight Talk, the farewell interview with departing Long Beach Mayor Bob Foster as we near the end of our 22nd anniversary year. Straight Talk is brought to you in part by the Port of Long Beach, a leader in international trade and environmental stewardship. And the Press-Telegram, your local news leader for over 100 years. And Scan Health Plan, for your health and independence. Join us for tonight's edition of Straight Talk. And now your host, Art Levine. Good evening and welcome to Straight Talk. Our guest for the entire show is the departing mayor of Long Beach, Bob Foster, for his farewell interview. Bob, welcome to the show, and we're sad to see you go. Well, thanks, Art. Uh, it's been an enjoyable time. Um, happy I served. I would do it all over again, but I'm also looking forward to having, having some time for myself. Wonderful. Well, uh, a lot of folks think you did a pretty good job and the city's in better shape than when you came in. I know that that was a basic test for you and the test of a 10-year-old, whether the city is good for him or her. Yeah, I, I think by almost any measure, the city is in much better shape than it was eight years ago. And I viewed that as my job to advance it. And one of the things I always kept in mind as I was dealing with issues was uh, a 10 year old child. Uh, would my actions or the policies the city is initiating, would it ad advance the opportunities for that child or would it actually cause that child to be you know, encumbered with debt or other burdens that really they would receive no benefit from. So I, I think those two things were foremost in my mind during the uh, nearly eight years in the mayor's office. And while people may disagree with a particular decision that you made, uh, I for one never doubted that it was your judgment that that was best for the city, even though I might see it differently or others may see it differently. And, and I think that goes a long way for a lot of folks that, uh, that things are not being decided for political reasons. Uh, I, you know, I, I didn't look at this as a, a position to go some, to some other office uh, or even run a third term. I had contemplated that but decided I, I think eight years was enough. And uh, I tried to do everything with a view of uh, trying to govern well and to try to do it without reference to the politics involved. What would you say were a couple of the major accomplishments during your tenure? Uh, well, if, at the top of the list overall would be maintaining the fiscal discipline and stability of the city. Going through what was a very difficult financial downturn. We, you know, the budget today, the general fund budget actually is, in nominal terms, not even in real terms, in nominal terms, is actually at or below where it was when I took office. And well, you have, see the budget? It was about four hundred million when I took office, and it's a little below four hundred million. Oh, in today. absolute dollars, in just dollars, not yeah. counting inflation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, but things like pension reform, which are clearly high on the list, which will save two hundred and fifty million dollars to the city over ten years, the environmental cleanup at the port, uh, very high on the list. Its pollution has been reduced, uh, depending on what pollutant you pick, uh, eighty or ninety percent uh, over the last five six years. Uh, dramatic improvement in air quality. Uh, on water quality, I think we've done made dramatic strides. Uh, we used to be get failed grades from Heal the Bay, and now we get A's and B pluses for our water quality. And uh, the technical training that the program, the ACE Academy at Jordan High School, where we were teaching young people the and that was one of your trade. pet projects. Yeah, from, from I, the I get come go. out of the trades, and yeah. I, it was very yeah. important for me to. I, Just I for think, the record, the mayor used to lay carpet when correct. he was in college, and uh, even he was after a union. <laughs> member and realized the importance of a trade and has stated publicly on this show and elsewhere that if he ever lost, he could always go back and lay carpet. That, that, I, that was always something to fall back on. So <laughs> kids are learning yeah. the construction business and that, uh, those are those are. And all what about things. major disappointments? Uh, I wish we had passed Measure I, uh, which would have improved the infrastructure in the city. The bond issue. Yeah, the bond issue, $10, $10 a month on your property tax. Uh, it, you know, it needed two-thirds. We got, I think, about 55 or 56 percent. Very hard to get two-thirds, particularly since the absentee ballots landed on your doorstep uh, the day Lehman Brothers <laughs> declared bankruptcy. <laughs> wasn't the greatest timing in the world. But I, I think that would have vastly improved, even more than we were able to do, the infrastructure of the city. 
That though, that's uh, that's really the only disappointment. Any failures? Uh, I don't really think so. I I really look back and I fulfilled every promise I made when I ran for mayor, with, with exception one exception, one, which is here police we go again. Manning. With, with the 100 uh, additional police officers. And you got up to 50 more. You got halfway and couldn't make it all. And, and the truth is, uh, you and I disagree on this, but we have the lowest crime rate in 41 years. We found we, ways. It's not just personnel. We, it's technology, but you would agree that we could use more police. And we are. We're doing two academies. We're, we're, we're going to That does the not ranks. increase the number of police. That just... Oh, no, no. Uh, well, no that just no, you takes will. care of the attrition. Uh, look, I'm in the mayor. You're not. So well, okay, but I, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion counts. No, it, uh, only to you. We, even we, the, even the chief gonna, would say it takes care of the attrition. That. The first academy takes care of attrition, but we're going to run another academy. But there's so. attrition every year. People know, leave every our year. Our goal is to add officers to the force. Yeah, right? but it's not going to be 100 officers. Your successor, Mayor-elect Robert Garcia, would say maybe five more a year would be his goal. And I think that would be great yeah. if we could do that. I have to ask the question, would you not agree with the principle that more cops means more, more boots on the ground means more safety? Not necessarily. Yes or no, sir? I would say not necessarily. I don't think, I think that's a false, uh, that's a false dichotomy. Yeah. Well, let's, cut, let's some, cut police to 200. Well, then. no, no, no. But there, no, there's a basic manning you need. So, but let me, let me ask this way. Would you have thought that you would have 800, was it 840 or 50 police officers instead of 960 and crime would be at a 41 year low? You would have said that couldn't be because you have to have officers for that. The truth is, not it necessarily. Did there you go. That's my point. Okay. Um, well, public safety. Uh, still is of concern to the community and uh, technology has in fact uh, with cameras they just put cameras into belmont shore cameras elsewhere the cop common operating picture system uh we have a very enlightened uh, police chief and top management Actually, that, i want to add that, that it's not just technology it's the way you deploy your force yeah and and jim mcdonald has done a fabulous and they job are using that. now big data in in analyzing places that crime is likely to occur Correct. and 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 getting one step ahead, it's quite yeah, exciting. He, he, he is he is an excellent police chief. And ninety nine percent certainty he will be our next sheriff. I certainly hope so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, well, hats off to the the men and women of the police department. Uh, you know, I, I and I not only for the job they do out in the streets, but. Uh, I said on the show before, if it weren't for the leadership of the Police Officers Association and their forward-thinking leadership, yeah. I think pension reform would have wound up on the ballot. Yeah, and just to give you credit, uh, you're a Democrat. You were elected with Democratic and union support, and you had to go to these men and women and say, look, guys, this is not sustainable, and, and you were able to sell it because you have a fairly persuasive personality. Yeah, yeah but it took, it took a receptive audience. It took a, a person like Steve James who understood that this, it really was not sustainable, that it yeah. did need to be changed. He's an excellent leader of that organization. He's a very bright, bright he person. Is. Okay, we'll be back with this remarkable interview, the farewell interview, I might add, for Mayor Bob Foster. We'll be right back. At the Port of Long Beach, we're not only delivering jobs, smart ideas, and forward-thinking environmental initiatives. We're also delivering opportunity for all of Southern California. Oh, and a clearer horizon line. To learn more, go to polb.com, the Port of Long Beach, thinking outside the docks. Hello, I'm Jessica Hardy, a proud Long Beach native and a member of the USA Swimming national team. Having spent much of my life in water, I've developed a deep appreciation for the valuable role that this precious resource plays in our lives. In recent years, California's water supply has become unreliable. To address this reality, Long Beach residents have dramatically reduced their water use through permanent lifestyle changes. In doing so, Long Beach has made itself a leader in water conservation. As I work hard to achieve my personal goal of qualifying for the 2012 Summer Olympics, 
I encourage you to continue your tremendous efforts to use water in smart and responsible ways. So join me and your fellow Long Beach residents in strengthening the water conservation movement. By making small but significant changes in our water use habits, together we can ensure that we have a reliable water supply for many generations to come. I want to improve my career opportunities. I want to earn a higher salary at my job. I'd like to finish what I started. The new Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts degree completion program at Cal State Long Beach will help you achieve your educational goals while keeping your life in balance. Contact our customer service center at 1-800-963-2250 for more information or visit us on the web. Let CSULB help you finish what you started.